What's good, BB family? We are back at it with another video. And today I got part 10 of showing up my collection. So today is great greens, my favorite color UV. So I made sure to do this one last. So we're finally at the end of it. Showed every UV. These are most of the hats I showed you. I got some of the bins too, but great green. So we're going to start off right here. I'm going to start off right here with actually my only green that's a plain Jane. Um, we got that Cleveland Indians, the, the Wahoo. This is the old school Wahoo. I forget what time frame, like what years they use this um, this logo. So those of you in the comments who do know, maybe OG Indian fans, let me know. Got that Yodi Wahoo pin to match it, of course. Plain Jane. No baddie, white gut, green brim. So that's number one. Next, how am I supposed to do this? I'm gonna, well, let me just put these here. Next, we got a good, good hat club pickup. Something that took, I want to say, five weeks to finally get to my crib. Shout out FedEx for that. Bumass niggas. Coked out tiger, white dome. Check out this logo. Always panic. Always panic. Tiger Stadium patch. There's gold on that. Yeah, yeah, gold on the border, of course. Definitely give it that nice shine. Nice baddie. White gut, green brim, navy blue top, navy blue button. The Tiger got the navy blue crown as well. That's tack. That's tack. Like that. What's today? Today's Thursday, right? Yeah, today's Thursday. Hat content. Two days, y'all. Two days. It's about to be a movie. Y'all better pop out. If you don't pop out, you missing out. Because it's about to be a lot of, a lot, a lot of dope creators with a lot of dope products. So, if you're not there, I'm sorry. You're missing out. But here we got Hat Club. Um, I guess the 75th anniversary pack. Because it was straight football teams with all of them with this same patch. So, you already know I went with the home team. Actually, I got this hat for free. I got this hat for free. <laughs> Forgot. Um... Current logo, white crown, blue top, blue button, red eyelets. This patch is pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie. NFL logo on the back, black gut, green brim. Now this is what I like about what I want to Rocking off-white crowns, They're, to me, I like wearing them when it's warmer out, you know. So, and I sweat a lot, so. White crowns being black guts is to me is just it just is way better personally. A lot of people like white. I'm not gonna front. The white guts on the white crown does look fire. It's just I can't. I can't. I know me, man. Another white dome. This one was slept on. I don't care what I say. This one was slept on. I don't even see this one shown to be honest. The Padre joint with what uh, patch is this? Seventy eight. All right. So check this out first. Main reason why I grabbed this is because at the time I've been needing a Padres hat. I grabbed some before, but I always ended up selling them because I, I just wasn't feeling it. But once I seen this patch used on the Great Outdoor, the Lost Great Outdoor, I needed a Padre with this patch. And the only other Padre that I truly want is the Red Velvet one. But that's, that's going to be Mission Impossible to get. So we got the white crown, brown top, brown button, the smaller SD logo. It's kind of like blocky like a block uh sd this patch go crazy 1978 all-star game batter in the match white gut green brim so you see what i'm saying like it looks nice like you, the white gut but for personal purposes and reasons you know i would prefer the, the black gutter now this one one of one of my favorites definitely one of my favorite greens og aux Got that Kanye, um, not late registration, obviously not. Oh, college dropout, <laughs> college dropout Cubs, brown bear, kind of like a honey, honey yellow around the circle around it, white interior, all brown crown, honey year Wrigley on the on the patch. Shout out differently uptown on that on that pin, the the running uh, Kanye bear. Running away from the ghost. I don't know if you see that. I'm, I'm missing right now, but you know you've seen it. You've, you've seen you've seen these uh, this pin before. I've showed it off a couple times. Like I said before, all the ox ox hats have the white 
Batterman with the black on both sides to match like the parental advisory on albums. Black got green brim. Great, great, great crown right there. What we got next? Now this one, not too many people have this. This was a pre-order with blue brims. Blue brims and Leon. Leon is the one who made these crowns. So originally when this pre-order happened, the AT Aliens, this is the this is the OG AT Aliens because High Club ended up doing it with the Ox, I believe it was. Yeah. So originally when they did this pre-order, they did everything on this hat exactly, but this logo had the tomahawk. So that's what made me want it because I was like, of course the hat, I like the hat overall, but like that that logo, y'all should know that. That's my favorite one. At Brave Wise, the A with the, with the ax going through it. So when Blue Brims hit me up, when they were finally about to come in, and he told me, yo, can you go up a size because we're out of this? I'm like, that actually works because I've been buying three eighths more than one fourths. And then he was like, yeah, also, it's not going to have the tomahawk, something with blah, blah, blah. I was sick. I was like, hell yeah, I still want it, but I was sick because that logo. But let's go ahead and check this out. AT Aliens, got the green, like the lime green, slime green. I'm going to go with slime green on the logo with the orange border, orange button, 30th anniversary patch. This is one of the best Brave side patches in my opinion. Batterman is nice too, is this raised? Nah, it's flat, it's flat, it's flat. Black gut with like the slime green again. So finally a different green in here. I think I got one, th two other ones that are not Kelly green. Kelly green is my favorite UV color, excuse me. But this one's cool. This one's cool. You know, I like to throw in my my colors are every hit now and then. You know, I like to switch it up, but keep it to the basics. Grays and green. Ah, oh, what we got here? This is the Gold Digger before the Gold Digger collection, before the OG one. Got the San Francisco Giants with the uh, Battle of the Bay patch, all blacked out. Battle of the Bay. That is a great patch, great patch. Raised baddie. This is like one of the few times Hat Club, from at least from my experiences, do a, does a raised batterman with the border around it. Y'all know I don't like that, but Hat Club normally either does a raise or a flat. It's never this or no baddie. So I, me having having one of these from a Hat Club is kind of you know out the norm. Black gutter green brim. A lot of people didn't like this collection. I like this. Simple. Could rock it with anything. If you, I rock a lot of black and navy. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it navy, but it go go with a lot of fits. What we got next? Whoo! This is not the OG, but I slept on the first drop. <clears throat> it's because I didn't really want it. But we got a Tampa Bay Devil Rays, Black Dome, the best Black Dome. You can argue with yourself about it. Seattle's cool, but I'm uh, I'm cool. I'm good on that. Ninety eight inaugural. So the two, I don't know if there's any more, but the two inaugural season patches that I know of is this one and the Diamondback one, and they both go crazy. They both go crazy. And the colors on this is amazing. Like, look at the colors, y'all. Just hell, a lot of, all the cool colors, and then there's the splash, a little yellow over there at the end. Fire. Fucking fire. Black, purple, and white on the Batterman. White got green brim. I like this crown a lot. I don't know why I slept the first time. I really don't remember. Let's see what we got next. What we got next. Those were all Hat Club? Nah, the first one was For You. The rest was Hat Club. One was the the hat that Blue Brings did. So now we're going to take it to My Fitted, finally. We got a My Fitted's in here. Um, This is not white. This is like a light gray. Like at the time when I got this, I wasn't grabbing white crowns at all like all last year i slept on all the white crowns because like i wasn't i liked them like don't get me wrong they always look nice but i was just like i can't do it i can't do it now look at me but so this was at the time when i grabbed this shout out to my brother e uh this was the lightest crown i had like it's like a light light gray the cubs logo i didn't have this cubs either i mean this cubs logo at the time I don't actually see this Cubs logo used often now that I think about it. And which one is this? 1947 All-Star Game. I like this patch. It's a clean patch. Basic Batterman, flat Batterman. It's a good two-tone. Blue top with the blue button. 
white gutter green brim. Shout out John Jay for this. Another good one. <laughs> this next one is one of my favorite. This was this is my top ten last year. Still one of my favorite hats. You know, I like to give promotion to you know the small businesses and you know up and coming artists, but. I ain't showing, I, I can't, no no paid promote, no free promotion. I was about to say paid promotion, I ain't getting paid. No free promotion for the big name brands, you feel me? Saying, my bad, y'all. Like I was saying, one of my favorite crowns, not even just greens, one of my favorite crowns in general. Shout out Baldy Smaldy for, hmm. Fitted a female, which drop was it? Was it the second? I think it was the second, yeah. Toronto Blue Jay, and I look at the colors in this. The Lavender Crown, Olive Button, Olive Bird with the pink, the Off-White, the Grelly Green, this is crazy. The patch is crazy. Red, Olive Green, Kelly Green, like a, what is that, what is that? It's all pink, like a, a light pink, crazy. Batter in the match with the lavender, olive, and the white. Olive, that olive green brim, and then the white, white gut. Overall, great crown from top to bottom. Everything was just great. Where's this? And it's Bangladesh. Top tier crown right here. Top tier crown. I hope all of y'all have this in your collection. If you like it, I really hope you do have it in your collection or you make it makes your makes its way into your collection because that whew, amazing. Now this is one of the few caps from four U caps that I feel like everybody wanted, everybody still wants, but it's dropped a thousand times. <laughs> it dropped a thousand times. First time I seen this crown, I went into four U. I think it was my first time in there actually. I was picking up hats for my kids. And I was picking up something for myself. Nah, nah, I went there specifically to grab hats for my kids because for you cats, for those of you who don't know, for you cats be having the flavors for the young bulls. And actually, yeah, my son has this hat too. That's what I'm saying. But I seen this hat in there in one of the clear, like clear container, not container, like a glass case type shit. So we got that Seattle Mariners, the Compass logo. Nice crown, right? I don't know if there's an inspo behind it. It's just the colors just go. We got the navy blue top, uh, crown, yellow top, green button, compass slow. S with the compass in it. The red, white, yellow, green, blue. Crazy. 30th anniversary in the patch. Now, this patch might be, it might be the best Seattle patch just because you could do so much with it. Like, with the sky and the mountains and then, I don't know what the hell they call that tower in Seattle, but they got that in there. They got the compass in there too. That's tactical. Great, great patch. Green, red, and white. Is that a little yellow border? Because this is flat. Oh, it's tough. It's tough. It's not that, you know what I'm talking about when it's the, with the raised batterman, but there's a border around the raised. This is a border around the flat, but it's not raised. So this, this hits, this hits. I'm not going to complain about that. And then I think this is the only time I've ever seen two colors like this in a, uh, in a what do you call it, the new, the new era flag. I got stuck for a minute. White gut, Kelly green, great crown, great crown. One of the best crowns to ever come out of 4U caps. Shout out my good people over there at 4U caps. This one, this was definitely slept on. I already know for a fact this was slept on. This was from the Cool Fall Fashion. Chicago Cubs, another one that I saw this logo. I was like, I don't ever, I've never seen this logo. I don't, I've never seen any other store make a, a Cubs hat with this logo. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna add this to the collection. Kind of reminds me of a honey badger. 100 years, really filled. Another simple, clean hat. That's why I grabbed it. Nice baddie. Black gut, green brim. There's a lot of good crowns in the cool fall fashion, but people weren't crazy about that collection. Besides for uh, that that uh, that white Astro one, Astro stock is up right now. It's crazy. What was that one from? Oh, Hack Club, cool fall fashion facts. This is just uh, a good green out of Hack Club. Got the set Noho. I don't know which 
their logo this is like the time frame but i'm assuming because hat club do be doing things like based on its actual time frame because i know a lot of people that just grab a logo and grab a patch to go with it hat club designers john and just they usually tend to do things within its time frame so like this is 1962 so i would assume this cubs logo is from the 60s you feel me could be wrong though could be wrong it could have been one of the few times they just decided to switch it up but i doubt it just because this was the all-star all-star game collection when they were just dropping straight this is when the drought was going on remember there was a drought like last year where they was dropping like enough no hats my fitters was down bad they dropped <laughs> nothing they wasn't really dropping nothing but hat club they were coming out every couple of days with just good greens basic colorway but all-star patches they did it was, they were doing it by like decades, so the 50s, 50 All-Star Games, 60s, 70s, 80s type shit, just like that. But this one's a 1962 All-Star Game. No Batterman, red button, good green, black gutter. I don't like the black guts. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Now this, this is a gem. This is a gem. We got NBA crossover, the OG NBA crossover collection, Texas Rangers, Dallas Mavs, crazy. White tee with the green border on that. 95 all-star game, one of my favorite side patches. Like overall favorite side patches between all teams, all everything. This is up there for me. Got that star, like that cowboy star. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy. Batterman the match. Black gutter, green brim. I'm going to call this the Luka right now, especially since they're in the Eastern Conference Finals. He had a rough game yesterday, but I want... Let me know. Talk to me, y'all. Who do you want to see in the Finals? I want to see Luka versus Jason Tatum. What I'm expecting to happen is the Warriors to beat them, probably in like five. And then... I thought it was going to be easy. I'm not going to lie. I did think the Celtics were going to make it to the, to the finals in like 5-6. Al Horford and Marcus Smart were out game one. It's looking like Al Horford's going to be out for game two. Marcus Smart is... He might play. He'll make a big impact if he does play. But of course, somebody else. Derek White. Now, don't get me wrong. I, as a defender, I like Derek White. I do. But he hasn't been shooting the ball well. So like in that aspect... I haven't been wanting him to play, but defensively, I, I want him on the court. But he's out for the next game, so it's just like we can't get a win. It's like we, we might get Marcus Smart back, but we're going to lose Derek White. So that's just going it's to... Looking, it's looking bad, but I still have faith in us because we all we got to do is defend home court and then come back and steal one game. So it's going to be a long series, but my boy's going to take it home. So Celtics. Celtics and what did I just say? The Mavs. That's who I want to see. That's who I want to see. Another one from Hat Club when they were doing that All-Star Game, All-Star Game drops. We got Chicago Cubs again. Yeah, I think that's all I grabbed during those time, that time when they were doing that. Anyways, two-tone, good two-tone. Blue, red top, red button, red, white, and blue, blue bear. 1990 All-Star Game. This patch is always crazy. This patch is always. This is another one of those patches where you could really put in work and just wild out on it. No, ba almost dropped it. <laughs> no Batterman. Black gut green brim. Nice crown. Another nice crown. So we got, we're nearing the end of the greens, y'all. Oh, this is the last green brim that's not Cali green. So this is my fitteds. Pokemon collection. This is the Bulbasaur. There was two Bulbasaurs. I could have got both, but even though I'm a Pokemon fan, I don't know. I, I should have grabbed both, but I was more into this one. Got the Toronto Blue Jay. I like, you know why I like this one? Because the, Bul the Bulbasaur and the, using the Red Sox, it made sense because of the, the B logo. But when I saw this one, it just like, it made way more sense to me because, you know, Bulbasaur is a leaf type Pokemon. The leaf, the maple leaf right on the front was crazy. With the profile bird on top of the baseball. Super fire. And then I also, another reason why I wanted this because I didn't have this patch at the time. I have a good amount of Bra Braves. Blue Jays. Doing that red in there. Nice greens. The Batterman is really nice. I like the Batterman. Check this out. 
Like got, and I don't even know what type of green this is. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I don't know what type of green this is. Doodle green? <laughs> it's just nah, that's crazy that that's what it looked like. Wow. But yeah, that's uh my fittest Pokemon joint. Another green. Uh what we got next? What we got next? Uh another one from the cereal pack. We got that tricks tricks first time i seen this logo was the coffee pack coffee pack the the hat club did with no side patches a lot of people thought it was toronto and that, i mean not toronto a lot of people thought it was texas and then when they found out it was the blue jays i was it threw a lot of people off i want to see you can't really tell oh not yeah you can tell i just had to zoom in we got blue white yellow border around the t I don't even know what type of script. I don't know. But of course, now, when you use a cereal that are like very colorful, like Fruity Pebbles or Tricks or shit like that, you could go crazy with, I feel like, almost any patch. But this one, <whistles> check this out, y'all. Crazy. 30th Fanny. The Batterman's nice too. White gut, green rim. Another dope crown. Another great green, one of the best great, one of the best greens. I was... Oh, we got hit. Ooh. Now this collection, I wish I would have grabbed more. Got that Merlot. And at the time, this was 2020. In 2020, I was really only grabbing um, Yankee hats. Like I was really only grabbing Yankee hats. And then I want to say December is when I started grabbing mad other stuff. But got that Merlot. Hat Club Yankee with the 1950 All Star uh, World Series. Almost said All Star Game. They don't talk about this patch often when it comes to Yankee patches. This is a really, really good patch. Really good patch. Got that Merlot Batterman, white interior, black gut, green brim. <sighs> yeah, there was a lot of um, black sweatbands back in 2020. Let's see what else we got. We're on the last two. Okay, last two. Last four. Here we got from the most recent Campfire collection. Got that Coked Out Tiger. Now, this was probably one of the most hyped. One of the most hyped collections ever. And it happened after the camp, like the it happened after the original, the original one because I remember the original one they were they were sitting like there was something that was just sitting, and a couple months later, I forgot when was it February of last of last year or March, people just were on the hunt for them. They were on the hunt, going crazy. People weren't trying to sell them. My phone is blowing the fuck up. Who yo relax, bro? This was like ten texts in a row. Anyways, Tiger Stadium on the side patch. Got that brown to go with the campfire. Nice baddie. Black gut green brim. And then now this campfire was my first hat club purchase ever. Ever. This was what this was what put me on a hat club. We got the campfire. Got the Campfire Blue Jays. Bro, still blowing up my phone. Now, I, I know I just said I was mainly grabbing Yankees, <clears throat> but when I got put on the hat club, this drop happened. I guess it dropped that day, and a lot of the hats were sold out. There was some there that was still there. There were some sizes, but this was one of the ones that was left that I actually really liked. Like, I, I was looking, the Yankee one was gone. But I saw this one, I was just like, this is a nice logo, I like this. And I grabbed it. 92, right? That's 92? Yeah, 1992 World Series. I always get them confused because a lot of, from like 92 to like 97? Yeah, to like 97, it's this pretty much the same patch. Just changed the year. Shout out my brother E. Got that campfire pin on there. Another goodie, another goodie. Gem, I'll never let this one go. For a fact. Now, last two, y'all. Last two. 
I'm not even sure if I even showed y'all this hat when it came in. Well, if I didn't, you're going to see it now. We got that Philadelphia Phillies, the veteran stadium patch. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. I love this crown. I haven't used it yet, but I love this crown. Reason being is I've seen a couple stores use this logo now. My fitters was the first. My fitters did it, I want to say, three, three, four times now. I seen Capsule use it. Other stores probably use it too. Hat Club, whoever made this, John, Just, whichever one of them who made this crown with this logo, they did the best job out of anybody. I don't care. I'm not going to argue with nobody because this logo is already big in itself. It looks small in this crown, and that's how exactly how I want it because usually it's so big, like this logo is so fucking big that it, they had to take the eyelids out. And actually, look, to me, that looked dumb as hell. But with this, they, they made it smaller and it just... Whew. And then the colors, the maroon with the gold, the Philly script. Like, this is tough, y'all. This is so clean. Veteran stadium patch. I bet, I'm a veteran, so like I've been wanting a hat with this patch. This one was perfect because I love, I love metallic gold on hats. Gold, maroon, white on the batterman. Maroon button, maroon top, Kelly green, white gut. This is heat. This is heat. If y'all slept, this was from the 420 pack. <sighs> heat. And last, but certainly not least, because this for sure I think is my favorite green brim. Shout out to Noho Nadi. Looking forward to meeting you, my guy. If you get to see this video, I'm looking forward to meeting you. I'm going to be at HatCon. Of course. Of course I'm going to be at HatCon. But we got the no ho naughty Ru Lost Rushmore Muscle Bird. Now, just check this out, y'all. Check it out. I don't even got to say too much. Metallic gold bat, metallic gold tee, burnt orange on the crown, orange bird, black button, black top, 30th Annie on the side. <sighs> this guy is just top tier. Top, top tier. This is my grill. Batterman's insane. He snapped on that too. Black gut green brim. Overall, I have zero complaints about this crown. Absolutely none. I love this crown. And that's about it, y'all. So I appreciate you for watching. Let me know if you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new to the channel, you're definitely gonna want to go ahead and subscribe because we got a, besides the content, we got a lot of things in the works. Got my site that I've been working on the past two days. Um, I'm going to be dropping after HatCon because I'm like I said, I'm going to post um, the leftover pins on there. Ugh. And yeah, this is a great channel to be a part of, y'all. You don't want to miss out. We got giveaways coming soon. Uh, once I hit 1,500 subscribers, we're going to do another giveaway. You know, hats, probably, uh, probably some pins. I always do hats and pins, actually. So yeah, those two for sure. But yeah, it's just a great channel to be a part of. So I'm looking forward to all what's to come. Saturday's about to be a movie. HatCon, be there. Uh, Smoking Souls next month, June 26th. Be there as well. It's another event I'm going to be at. I'm going to have more. I'm going to have new pins specific, specifically for that event. So looking forward to showing you that when they come in. And I just want to say one more time, thank you for all the love and support you guys. Because you guys keep me going. You guys show me a lot. Especially when things are going... Not your way. Hearing you guys, talking to you guys always puts me in a better mood. So I appreciate all of you who really rock with me. So until next time, y'all, I'm out of here.